Okay. And you are? Chris Austin, leader of the People's Alliance. Yeah, but two, you got two part of me in, in one night. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, okay. So how is it going, going door to door? Awesome. Awesome. And I can tell you, Fredericton Grand Lake... A week had, before the election. Okay, go ahead. ...had the highest voter turnout in the advance polls on Saturday, which indicates change. So what change it is, we don't know, but uh, from what I'm hearing in my area, it's looking really, really good. You mean they're not going to vote for uh, Rosie, Rosie O'Donnell? No. <laughs> No? I don't know. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Pam Lynch, the little pussycat? No? I don't know. He was out there looking at you. We had a lot of support. A lot of support in... Uh, seriously? In our, no, seriously. Yeah, in our area. I mean, it's starting to pay off. I've been working at this for, for four years. we got a great team that's been, you know, hammering away at it and starting to pay off. I met Wes. Yes. Met yep. him, she? Wes is a great guy. Yep. Yeah, and uh, Joey, his name? Down by uh, Kokong? Down Joel. by Cape... Joel, uh, Joel, Joel, uh, Joel McIntosh. Yeah, he's um, perfectly oh, the yeah. Jean, oh, yeah. Jean, so, Jean Charette type. Perfect, yeah, yeah. So, perfectly so uh, bilingual. Yep. And it's good. Yep. And listen, I got to ask you, I'm sorry. Is it time we get rid of the French, the language commissioner? <sighs> I know, I had to ruin it. You had to go you know, ruin I don't it. Know, but, having a good conversation. I know, I know. But, go, but you know what? I say remove that position. Yeah. If you got to complain about language. But you know what the problem is, though, Charles? Good government, human government rights. gets involved. You know, like I, I come from Minto. Minto yeah. was a coal mining town. There was a, a lot of diversity. There was Italians, there was French, there was oh, yeah. English. There mining, was mining. Town. Ukrainians. I mean, just people from all over the world. And what a town it was. Everybody got along. They worked together. They helped one another. And that was, you know, when, when the mines first started. I mean, when you look at New Brunswick today, government's got their hands in it. They've got everybody divided, fighting amongst each other about who's getting better service in the, in the Vitalite or who's getting better service in Horizon. And, and you know... We can't afford it. Uh, yeah. I mean, if I'm stopped by the cops, the asshole and whatever, the cops, and then I want to speak, then they come to me, they speak Quebec French. Mm. Uh, excuse me, Mortal Le Chiac. Yeah, there you go. But the there language commissioner, every time she comes out with a re her report, mm. it's not something that's going to go against the English. Right. It's just something to cause a conflict. That's it. That's like the exactly bilingual, it. to be bilingual. You know, that is so refreshing hearing that coming from no, you. No, no, but no, it's I'm true. I'm serious, it is. But it's true. Because we've been saying that. We're, we're, no, we're, no. we're, not, we're not bigots. We're no, not anti-French. No, no, what no, we're no. saying is let's do what we can to make New Brunswick the best it can be for everybody. Ambulance we, workers got to be bilingual? It's ridiculous. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, no, I know. Only a Moody Québécois would come out with something like that. And, you know, I'm starting to get pissed off here. Yeah. Because... And <laughs> I had an ambulance driver on the phone the other day. And I'm not being over, overly dramatic. No. The man was in tears. They've, they've got enough stress as it is with the job that they currently do. They don't need to be worrying about whether they can transfer, whether they can get different postings, uh, whether they're going to have a job in the future because they, they're not. And it's not just bilingual trials. It's two plus proficiency in French. And that's where we have a real issue. Like, if the, <coughs> if the demographics support it, then absolutely. You know, we, we agree 100%. Like you said, in St. Stephen, why yeah, do you less, need? Why do you need a? Fr I mean, why do you need a Frenchman? I could talk like that. I'm one. Why do you need a, a Frenchman in Saint Stephen? Why do you need an Englishman in La Mecque? Yeah. I thought that was Sun TV. I was gonna go right after them. No, okay, uh, that's all right. Yeah. So I got I got distracted. No, but I mean, where is warranted? All right, yep. you know. I mean, okay. Yep. But I think we're having Quebecois coming here and insisted that they're French, and then they say, "Look at that! Pol that look! Oh, I'm getting wound up here. I think I think I'm taking Matthew Glenn. Oh my God! God, God bless. Oh. <laughs> it's all you must be. No, but I mean, you turn around, the uh, the uh, French, and I do kind of do to say. To David Cohn, his French is not good enough yeah. to join the debate. Not the yeah. three political main, main debate. Mm. His French is not good enough. Yeah. Who decided his French is not good enough? That's it. Jet That's it. And David Cohn, he learned for three years. Yeah. By the way, how's your French anyway? I'm, I'm working on it. Oh, wait, Bob. I, I really am. I, I do uh, it. <laughs> nah, you know what I mean? I got Rosetta Stone. I, I took an introductory French course. Uh, anyway, you know I'm, what? I'm you better. won that debate the other night. I know if you got thank a call, you. I'll just go like that. And thank you know you. what? You're not a bad guy. Well, thank and, you. and and you're not a bigot. I'm a bigot, but no, you're not, not a bigot. Not a bigot. I I'll take it. Yeah.